this is Mr. Ward, and this is your Do Now 31, 30.1 uh, video key for uh, our 30th week, day one. And let's see how we're doing here. We got this cubic binomial, and when I say cubic, that means that this is a cube, and it's a binomial because it has just two terms. So I've got x cubed minus x. And what I want you to do is find the greatest common factor of these two terms. What's the greatest common factor they both share? Well, that's x times x times x, and that's x. So they both share x as a common factor, so I can factor that out of there. And if I take x out of x cubed, I get x squared. And then if I divide x by x, I get 1. And so I now have x times x squared minus 1 equals 0. And that is the factoring of that. So the GCF there was X. Now, there we go. So if you factored out X, you got it. And we end up with an X squared minus one here. Can we go any further with that X squared minus one? And in fact, we can. What we need are two factors of negative one that add up to oh, zero. The middle term is zero X. Of course, you may recognize that this is a square and this is a square. One is one squared. And it's a difference. So this is a difference of squares. So you can just go right to the difference of squares tool and we can call x squared minus one, x minus one times x, x plus one. And that will equal zero. And one of the nice things about it equaling zero is we can now tell what the x-intercepts are. Well, if x is zero, the whole thing is zero. So x could equal zero uh, and x could also equal 1. That would be an x-intercept. And x could equal negative 1. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one. Here we have 3x cubed minus 12x, and we need to come up with the greatest common factor between those. Well, there's an x in both of them. There's three factors of x here and one factor of x here. So I can definitely pull an x out. 3 and 12 share a factor of 3, so I can pull a 3 and an x. And so 3x cubed is just going to be x squared, and then minus 12x, there's no longer going to be an x, and the negative 12 divided by 3 is going to be negative 4, and that equals 0, of course. And so our greatest common factor was 3x, and we were left with x squared minus 4. So here we have exactly that, 3x times x squared minus 4. Can we go farther? Can we factor x squared minus 4? And in fact, we can. That's a difference of squares. Um, this will be x plus 2 times x minus 2. So yeah, thank you very much. My dinner is apparently ready. So 3x times x minus 2 times x minus plus to the characteristic difference and some factors for the same two things that would be squared here and squared here. You have a difference of squares. And the nice thing about this all being equal to zero is I can figure out what x would equal when that equals zero. And so that these are the x-intercepts or the solutions or the roots and so forth, um, the zeros. So if x was zero, 3x would be 0, and so the whole thing would be 0, and it equals 0. If x was 2, x minus 2 would be 0, because 2 minus 2 would be 0, and the whole thing would equal 0. If, back in here, if x was negative 2, negative 2 plus 2 would be 0. So x being negative 2 also is an x-intercept. So, And these are my solutions for this uh, polynomial. This is a cubic binomial um, because it's a cube and there are two terms. All right, I hope that helped and we'll talk more about it in class.